The Relum library is a new tool for Webflow that lets you copy and paste components directly into your Webflow project. In this video, I'll create a landing page within minutes by using the pre-built sections. As you will see, this is the fastest way you could possibly build a website in Webflow. Hey there, my name is Simon and I create videos about Webflow. If you're interested in getting better, then make sure to subscribe and let's get started now. Our starting point is the website library.relum.io, where you can also get a 7-day free trial. Next, I'll clone the style guide, which is the official starting point for your Relum library projects. When it's done, we can already start copying the sections from the library to our project. I want the simple landing page that we're going to build to consist of a navbar, header, features, testimonials, a call to action and a footer. But as you can see here, there are a lot more sections available in the Relum library. I will open the navbar components and I'll just grab the first one that we have here. I'll just click copy. And now I can switch to my Webflow project. I'll just delete the part that we don't need, which is the message fixed and this one. And now I can just paste it from my clipboard. This was really satisfying. It took me two seconds. And now the navbar is here inside of our Webflow project. Next, we'll get a header. So I'll go back to all components. And here on hero header sections, there are like 47 components inside of this. So this could be a little bit harder to choose from which is why they included filtering options for you to get what you want. So I could say I want a one column header, but I can also say I want two columns or whatever. I think I'll just go for the first option here again. Now I'll copy it inside of my Webflow project and we have the header. Now I'll do the same for the other sections and I'll see you in a minute when my project is fully built. It literally took me only two minutes to have this set up with all the sections I mentioned before. I only need to drag them into the right positions because we currently have the nav part and the header. I want the footer to be the last one. The CTA is on the right spot, the testimonial too, and the features section also. Now I will adjust the colors to how I'd like them to be. So as you can see, every single color here is swatched. The standard build comes in gray, white, and black. So I'll create a new swatch here. A new swatch, orange. Now I've got this one and I'll just create the new swatch here. I will also add it here to the border. I'll do the same here in the button secondary class. Just add the color here, the nav bar button. Also add the color here. And now we're set I'll also um, update the color here. And now I'll also change the font. I'll go to the project settings. I'll switch to fonts. And now I'll just select the Poppins font. I just have to search it for a second. I'll add the font in regular 500, 300, 600, and 700. I'll add the font here. Go back to my project set to my project. And now I can switch to the body here. And on the body all pages, I can switch the font from system UI, which is the default setting to Poppins. And now it updated everywhere. I also forgot to change the border color here. So I'll also do that. And another thing I can also do is that I'll just create a little hover animation here on the social links. So on hover, I want the color to go to orange, then I will Create a little transition here for the font color. And now we can see our little transition here on the social links. As you can see, we can make changes for our whole build within seconds. But now I'll tell you the real benefits of the Reloom library and the best use cases for it. But before we move on, it would be cool if you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and your subscription would be much appreciated. And also use the link to the Realm library in the video description to support me for free. But now let's move on. There are several benefits to using the Realm library. The most obvious one is building speed. You've already seen this in this video. 
Another benefit is the naming convention that's being used. The Realm library is built on FinSuite's Find First style system, which makes your whole build super structured and organized and easy to scale. You can check out the Client First style system in the video description. Another great benefit of the Realm library components is that they are fully responsive. You can check this out here. They are fully responsive. Each section is responsive. Also, the sliders are responsive. And especially for the navbar, that's cool for me because I really don't enjoy dealing with Webflow's navbar components. You can just check out the benefits for yourself by following the link in the video description. But now let's move on to the best use cases. And you can use the Realm library for anything, but the best use cases are probably just creating a website as I did in this video. It's also good for wireframing for a client to confirm the choice of sections. And lastly, if someone challenges you to a speed building competition, they probably won't be able to keep up with you if you use the library. Thanks a lot for watching. Here are two more videos worth checking out. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It only takes one second and would make a massive difference. See you soon.